All right, guys, uh, Causey in the Country. I'm Keith with Causey in the Country and just kind of bringing you another unboxing. Uh, ordered a 30 gallon kind of gas caddy. I'm gonna use it to put uh, diesel fuel in um, for the backhoe that I'm gonna be using uh, so that I can refill it. Um, um, I can kind of just leave this on the truck until I'm done and then I'm gonna use this particular one to uh, put gas in for the uh, zero turn mower in my son's four wheeler, we can kind of just pull up and, and, and get it out of here. So I'm just gonna do a unboxing here of this. This is from uh, the Vivor store, the Vivor, however you pronounce it. A um, uh, lot of stuff I, I, I've ordered a couple things from them. They're, um, it's actually not, not too bad. The price for this was really good. Uh, considering uh, I have another 14 gallon uh, tank that is on the boat and we use it as a spare like we have the regular fuel tank and then we also have a uh, kind of like a gas caddy but it's a 14 gallon it's a plastic one and it's a it has the squeeze handle so like you that's how you kind of prime it and once the fuel starts flowing you can just hold the handle in and it'll pump the gas in there it's not super fast but it works great when you're out on the river i usually use like a like one of those clips um you can clip different things with to kind of hold the handle in while it's filling up because it does take a little bit of time let's see if i can turn it sideways here so i am going to have to put a couple things on it here to come over and help me uh, so here is I don't want to mess anything up on it this is the fuel tank itself it's like there's a little bit of a dent here but there's really no worry because I think the tank is actually inside of uh, this outer casing here so it comes with pretty good size wheels. You should be able to roll it around, so you should be able to roll it around in the yard pretty good. Um, I will have to get those put on. Um, and comes with the other set of wheels. So if you got it on the garage floor or something like that, you can roll it around so it comes with the two different sets. You got some in the back, some in the front, and then you got the handle so you can tilt it back and just use the back. It comes with the instruction manual. And here's the handle. We got this. I don't want to lose any of the parts, but I do want to get rid of the box. So, and then we got, here's another parts box. It's just kind of two parts boxes here. And I'm just gonna pick this mess up. So, like I said, you got the two heavy-duty tires. Uh, looks like it's it's pretty nice. It's metal. I, I like that it's metal. Of course, I got the handle. I'm gonna open up this other parts box just to see. Uh, this particular one is not a. It's not a electric. It doesn't have an electric pump on it. In other words, it has a crank handle pump. Um, reason I kind of chose that versus the electric. Uh, Price-wise, it, it's it's you know it wasn't a huge difference, but there was a difference. But my thought was, well, hey, if for some reason you don't have the battery around or your battery's dead or something, and you got fuel in there, then you know you're kind of stuck with uh, not being able to get it out. This does have a ground wire with it, uh, so that you it, it, obviously you don't create a spark and, and kind of blow yourself up. So it does kind of come with that ground wire. This is going to be the pumping mechanism. Uh, like I said, it's a hand crank. So that's what all is in this box. Uh, here's the handle to actually hand crank it with. Um, but you just turn it and then of course it starts pumping the fuel. So, hey, good end of the world scenario. You don't have to rely on whatever. And this also works twofold. So what's awesome is whatever fuel you put in this tank, you can pump out, but it also works in reverse. I don't know about the electric ones. You may be able to hook it up in reverse, like on the, the electric one, and it may, it may siphon. 
I'm not 100% sure, but I do like the fact that this one is hand cranked, doesn't require any kind of electricity or anything like that. So here's your uh, fuel tank, or your fuel hose, I'm sorry. Um, so it's decent, I'm gonna say, oh, six or eight feet anyway, so that's kinda nice. Um, I do like that. Um, I'll do, we'll kind of do the, the putting it together. Uh, shouldn't take too terribly long to get it put together, but just don't have time to do that right now. Uh, but again, I am Keith with Causey in the Country. Just wanted to get this unboxed for you guys so you could see it. Um, and then we'll do a review on kind of putting it together so you guys have a better idea of, of how to put it together and all the ins and outs of there. And if you uh, like this channel, just click the like and subscribe button. Um, we uh, we do a lot of videos and stuff, and I'm, I'm constantly like doing different things. So we'd love to have you subscribe. If you enjoy just kind of unboxings of different things, we <laughs> we get all kinds of stuff, and we just try to do reviews on it. So just hit us up, and we will see you again on the next video.